everybody, this is Jody with Jody's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making a triple chocolate ice cream. Okay, first it's going to be, I'm going to make some chocolate ice cream. Then I'm going to put in some flavor ribbons of chocolate and then put in some um, chocolate chips. So it's going to be triple chocolate ice cream and it's homemade and it's organic. You're going to love it. For this recipe for the chocolate ice cream, and it's a base chocolate ice cream, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with two cups, where am I? <laughs> two cups of um, heavy whipping cream and I'm using it it's a pint okay that's two cups so and then after that has um, basically gotten really frothy and got some soft peaks I'm going to go ahead and add in my half a block of cream cheese then I've got my two cups of whole milk three quarter cups of cocoa, a quarter cup of brown sugar, two thirds cup of sugar, and then of course I've got to have some salt in there. And then also don't forget we're going to be making some chocolate ribbons and this is for after we've made the ice cream in the ice cream maker. We got that plus we've got a cup of chocolate chips. And what I had spoken about pre on a previous episode was you do not want to add any of your additives like this right here while you're making the ice cream uh, for the simple fact it will freeze to the side of your bowl on your ice cream machine and then your paddles will not be able to turn and it defeats the entire purpose. So you want to make sure that these type of things are added last. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on our base, which means this is left out and these items will go in first. Okay, so what I'm going to start off with first is my heavy whipping cream. And I always just kind of let that drain out of there so that I make sure I get every last bit of it that I can. Do not like to waste. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get this started. Okay, as you can see here, I really got that whipped up. That's okay, that's okay. Next, I'm going to add in my cream cheese. Get that all mixed up in there. Make sure that there are no lumps. Oh my goodness, look at that. And okay, now in goes our milk, our whole milk. And I'm going to go ahead and I am just going to go ahead and add our cocoa powder our white sugar and our brown sugar and I'm going to go ahead and add like a teaspoon of salt and get a a small little rub or rubber spatula okay Get this on here and pulse it until we've got a really good mixture. You here, I'm going to go ahead and start pouring in my chocolate ice cream, and we're going to put this on the lowest setting on our on the KitchenAid, or you know, do it however you do with your 
ice cream machine, but mine I have to put it on the lowest setting and I let it go for 20 minutes. And then once that has gone, then we're going to add that, those flavor ribbons and the chocolate chip. It's going to be amazing, people. All right. We'll see you in 20 minutes. Well, we've only got two, well, actually a minute and a half before this is supposed to be done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flavor, flavor ribbon the heck out of this along with some chocolate chips. So we'll be back in just a minute and I'll get that set up. All right, what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to layer it. I'm going to do this in two layers. Do about half. I can keep it off the sides. <laughs> Let me grab my little spatula. There we go. Okay. All right, what I'm going to do... I am going to take quite a bit of that sauce. Look how dark that is in comparison. Let me get my light on so I can get better light. Okay. Yeah, that's a really, that's a better light and a better con, you know, contrast. Okay, but look at that, guys. That deep, dark chocolate ribbon. And then our chocolate ice cream. Now what I'm going to do is take about half of these. Pour that in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the rest. I'll keep getting it off onto the sides here, making such a mess. Well, that's all right. We don't mind. All in the name of culinary arts. <laughs> Some of this is really frozen. That's good though. It helps with, you know, getting the process started in the freezer. And this is exactly why you wait to add all your other ingredients in. If it cannot be blended smoothly, then you need to put that, let that be the last thing that you add to your ice cream before you put it in the freezer. Don't want to waste. But of course it wouldn't. I'd be sitting here eating it. <laughs> All right, now what I'm going to do, add some more, <laughs> and I'm going to save some of this stuff to go on later. I know, aren't I just a lucky dog here? Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish that off. I'm going to go ahead and use this. <laughs> Why not, right? That, clean up that counter. Okay, now I am going to go ahead and fold all these ingredients together. Oh man, my husband is going to flip. He loves chocolate ice cream. And that's about all the attention I'm going to give it. And then I'm going to put it in the freezer. air on that because I don't want to get forming any crystals. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that to the freezer and it'll be ready in a couple of hours. So I'll show you the finished product in just a little bit.